In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple ways that you can optimize your model performance. The first option we're going to look at is auditing a model. And you want to use the audit function periodically to maintain the health of your Revit model when you're preparing to upgrade the software or as needed to locate and correct any issues. The audit function is going to scan, detect, and fix any corrupt elements in the model. And the one thing that's a little unfortunate is it does not provide feedback on which elements were fixed. This can take quite a while depending on the size of the model. So you want to make sure you have your time planned out accordingly. And as a best practice, it's probably not a bad idea to do this maybe on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. And if there's a lot of changes or if you've kind of just deleted or done a wholesale change to the model, you might want to do this uh, a little bit more often. You can also do this with families and your template files to make sure you're not spreading out a lot of different corruptions throughout. To audit, this is a process that takes place when you open a model. So I'm going to go from our recent files window to open. And I'm going to open one of my files here. And it's an option when you go to open down on the bottom left of the screen. So just like I mentioned, when you go to click that, it's going to let you know that this might take a little while. And so I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, that's OK. Let's go ahead and do it. And when I click open, it's going to go ahead and run through that auditing process. Now, it's very important after you do the audit that you go ahead and save the model. Because if you don't do that, then everything that you just went through, this audit process wasn't too long, but you're just going to have to do it again anyway. The other thing that we can do, which is a big help to models, especially if you're in a work sharing environment, is compact the central model. So what I'll do as a regular workflow is I'll periodically synchronize with the compact central model option selected. And what this will do is it'll reduce the file size for work set enabled files. And what's happening is it's going to compact all of the information within the central model because it's going to rewrite the entire file and, and save it back uh, to your server. If you don't do this, you're just going to end up with a lot of gaps within the file, and it's going to be a larger file than usual. This does take a little bit longer, so just like audit, you want to make sure you have your time planned accordingly. It's a pretty straightforward process. We'll just go to synchronize. And we'll just check the compact central model option. Hit OK. And it'll go through the process of compacting the model as it synchronizes back to the central.